We got some updates to the long-awaited Genshin anime, and it might be released sooner than we're expecting. The Genshin anime, announced by MiHoYo in collaboration with the renowned animation studio Ufitable, was officially revealed during the Genshin Impact 3.1 livestream in September 2022. A concept trailer was released, showcasing stunning visuals and giving a glimpse into the anime's aesthetic. Ufotable is known for its high-quality animation work, particularly on the Demon Slayer series. This partnership has raised expectations for the anime's visual quality and storytelling. So now to the update about it. It's been reported that four domains registered to the renowned animation studio Ufotable were renewed in mid-June, specifically between the 12th and 17th. Here are those domains. While these domains have been updated, they are not yet accessible to the public. This indicates that the developers are likely working behind the scenes to prepare these sites for an official launch. The renewal of these domains strongly hints at significant upcoming projects related to Genshin. I'll be doing 10 Welkins giveaway at 70k subscribers, so subscribe to the channel to not miss it. Moreover, Ultrazon, a company known for its involvement in producing intellectual property and merchandise for popular series like Demon Slayer and Fate Stay Night, has also made notable updates. Their website now lists Genshin among their upcoming projects. Ultrazon is also known for creating the Ufotable Cafe in Tokyo, further solidifying the connection between Ufotable and Genshin. As of now, no official release date has been announced. Even though this anime was announced almost two years ago, with the recent updates about the Genshin anime domains, there is a chance that the release is getting closer. Considering Wuthering Waves as a new competitor, MiHoYo might hurry up the Genshin anime to stay ahead. They could speed up production, put more resources into it, and release more teasers and behind-the-scenes content to keep fans excited. Therefore, there is a good chance that we will see it this year. We recently got two whole anime shorts, one for Arlecchino Past and the other is for Traveler's Sibling. So, come on HoYo, give us the whole anime already. At this time, we don't know what plot the new anime will follow, but it might revolve around the main storyline of the game, focusing on the Traveler's journey through Teyvat. The anime might start with the Traveler's arrival in Teyvat and their quest to find their lost sibling. While this would align with the game's current storyline, it might be more interesting to include other parts of the story, with or without the Traveler. Perhaps it will be something like the summer events we have in every last patch of the region. This way, the story in the anime wouldn't affect the Archon quests in the game. Well, that's everything we know about the Genshin anime at this moment. Are you excited for it? Let me know in the comments.